3,000 years ago, the mysterious people once living in Sanxingdui in the Chinese province of Sichuan packed up and moved away. They left behind no written language and no indication of who they were, where they were going, or why they left. What they did leave behind was a gigantic cache of artifacts of gold, bronze, jade, and ivory. They had unworldly designs, intricately fabricated but intentionally broken, burned, and carefully buried. Once a tranquil village over 90 years ago, remarkable discoveries were made in Sanxingdui after it accidentally turned into an excavation site. Sophisticated artifacts unearthed there point to the existence of an advanced and vastly different culture that challenges the traditional narrative describing Chinese civilization. Sanxingdui may rewrite the history of China. In the spring of 1929, a local farmer was digging a well when he discovered a large stash of jade relics. This was the first clue that eventually led to the discovery of Sanxingdui as the location of a mysterious ancient kingdom. But it wasn't until 1986 that the country was awed by a find the Chinese would label one of the great wonders of the world. That was when workers began pulling the gigantic head, now named mask with protruding eyes, out of the ground, along with an extremely tall statue which has since been nicknamed Standing Figure. The excavation in 1986 revealed two sacrificial pits. They were so called because scholars posited that ancient people used these pits for ritual sacrifices, as many of the items were burned before they were interred. The pits contained thousands of artifacts of gold, bronze, jade, ivory, and pottery. They were so unusual and unlike anything ever found in China before that archaeologists realized they had just opened the door to an ancient culture dating back between 3,000 and 5,000 years. The objects found in the sacrificial pits included animal-faced sculptures and masks with dragon ears, open mouths, and grinning teeth, human-like heads with gold foil masks, decorative animals including dragons, snakes, and birds, a giant wand, a sacrificial altar, axes, tablets, rings, knives, and hundreds of other unique items. Among the largest and oldest bronze wares in the world found at the site, there was a four-meter-tall tree of life, which took more than a decade for archaeologists to piece together. There was also an upright bronze human figure that measured 2.62 meters, or 8 feet. However, by far the most striking findings were dozens of large bronze masks and heads. They had angular human features, exaggerated almond-shaped eyes, straight noses, square faces, and huge ears, features which don't reflect those of Asian people. They certainly don't look Chinese and barely even look human. The artifacts were radiocarbon dated to the 12th or 11th centuries BC. They had been created using remarkably advanced bronze casting technology, which was achieved by adding lead to a combination of copper and tin. This allowed for a stronger substance that could create substantially larger and heavier objects, such as the life-sized human statue and the four-meter-tall tree. Researchers were astonished to find an artistic style that was completely unknown in the history of Chinese art. It was entirely different from the history and artifacts of the Yellow River civilization that was flourishing in the Yellow River Valley in North China, thousands of miles from Sichuan. A third pit was uncovered in 2019, and another five were discovered in 2020. In March 2021, more than 500 cultural relics were recovered from six new sacrificial pits at Sanxingdui. A major highlight of the find was a 0.6-pound fragment of a 3,000-year-old gold mask that may have been worn by a priest during religious ceremonies. About 84% pure gold, the piece likely weighed close to one pound in its entirety, making it one of the heaviest gold masks from that time period discovered in China to date. Researchers have now uncovered more than 50,000 ancient items at the Sanxingdui site, yet there still remain a great many puzzles to the archaeologists. Artifacts in the pits were found in different layers. One of the layers was specifically for elephant tusks, but Sanxingdui was in an area where elephants were not believed to have been introduced yet. Elephants at the time were thought to be a thousand or so miles away in Vietnam or the far reaches of southwest China. The find indicates the Sanxingdui people may have lived on a heretofore unknown trade route. Many seashells were found in another layer, but again it is unknown how they got to Sanxingdui, which is rather far from the sea. 
No similar find has been made anywhere else, and there are no inscriptions at the San Xindui site to shed light on its culture. It seems to be a distinctive Bronze Age civilization that has gone unrecorded in historical texts and was previously unknown. Little has been subsequently learned about the people, other than that they abruptly vanished about 350 years after making the bronze creations. There have been various explanations given for the mysterious San Xindui culture. One theory for its disappearance seems to attribute it to its special location. San Xindui, in addition to ancient Mayan and Egyptian civilizations, were on the same mysterious latitude of 30 degrees north. For some reason, both the Mayan and San Xindui people vanished suddenly from the Earth 5,000 years ago. Another more interesting explanation theorizes that San Xindui was a prehistoric civilization in the Sichuan Basin. The Sichuan Basin was formed by the land and ocean movements on Earth. Under the influence of the Himalayan orogeny, the Sichuan Basin has undergone transformations from a sea basin to a lake basin and to a land basin. The San Xindui civilization in the Sichuan Basin was among the earliest human civilizations that were formed during the semi-humid phase of the Earth. However, later on the glacier lakes found mainly around the west or northwest of the basin collapsed. The disastrous flood instantly annihilated the civilization without leaving any signs. This seems to make sense in explaining the presence of large quantities of elephant tusks and seashells at the site of San Xindui. In the current phase of human civilization, men were created in the image of God, but that was not the case in prehistoric civilizations. That's why the bronze figures unearthed in San Xindui more closely resemble aliens. They also probably had no language or writing at all, instead relying entirely on gestures to convey information.